Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is a new video. This is more like a, of a not a vlog, but more of a little talk. You know, I think I don't know, but you already know by the title. I got scammed. I got scammed literally yesterday, and let me tell you the story. So this guy, he goes on by the name of OJ underscore dot zero zero. He's on Instagram. And he messaged me. I'm gonna put all the screenshots and all the messages here so you could see if you wanna stop and read it, you could, you know, click on the pause button. So this guy was like, Hey man, it's Larry, my phone broke. So I'm on a roommate's uh so I'm on a roommate's. It's really bad grammar. He said, I'm on a roommate's. Text me when you get a chance. And I was like, I mean it's pretty believable. I was like, Yeah, I got you bro, like what's up? And like at this time, I was like, he probably needs money or something. So I was like, yeah, bro, what's up? He's like, sup, bro? But I'm on my way to Katie right now from school to help out my mom. And I need to send her this $22 so she can get medication. But I only have cash. Can you cash at me the $22 and send me your Eddie? And I can come to you with the cash right now? I responded, yeah, no problem. What's your cash at? And he's like, uh... He said, I'm going to have to send it to this one. I'm with a friend because, you know, my phone situation. And when I sent that message, I was like, I'm going to be sending it to your cash app. But, like, you know, you don't have your phone with you. So who am I going to send the money to? But then he responded with, oh, I'm going to have to send it to my friend's uh, cash app account. So I was like, okay. So he's not lying, I believe. And he sent me his cash app. And then he said, and send your address so I can bring you the cash right now. I did not send my address because I thought about it. I was like, I'm pretty sure you know where I live. But at the same time, I thought maybe like you don't know like, where exactly I live. So I didn't send my address. And um, I just told him that I live two houses down in a friend's house. And so I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'll leave at school at like 12.09. Uh, you can meet me outside and you can just drop off the cash. And through all this whole thing, I was I was really sketchy on it. I was like, why does he need money from me? Why does he need to talk to his family, his relatives? Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure the parents have credit cards too. I don't think they need the money that bad like that. But I was like, you know, whatever. Things happen. You never know, right? So I go with it. And I mean, at the same time, I should have asked a question that only he would know about me or things. But... <sighs> that stuff didn't go through my head at that time. Like, all right, brother, I'm on my way right now. And he, then he pulled out with his message. I just got another $20, but the bank, uh, out the bank, because she needed $20 more. So I have $42 cash right now. Okay. And when he asked for $22, it was really weird. I was like, why $22 is such an odd number? Like, why not like 20 bucks, you know, or, or like 25 or something, but why 22 exactly? And I said, you need $20 more, bro? And like, when he asked for this, I was like, this is a scam like this is a scam and i already sent the money before he popped up with that message um yeah i hate myself for that but when he when he said that i was like i know this is a scam so i'm just play with it so i was like you need 20 dollars more bro he's like yeah and make sure you outside bro because i'm in a hurry so i thought he was already on his way or like coming like two minutes to my house it's like i gotta pull up and give it to you real fast and head out I was like, okay, I'm coming. So I go outside for like two minutes. No one shows up. And then he pops up with another message saying, for sure, I just requested it. And I saw the notification is like requested 20 bucks, $22. And I was like, uh, I pressed the client. I was like, I'm not giving you that money right now. I was like, I right, cool. I send it when you get here. And then I, I ask him, you almost here? And he's like, yeah, hold up, bro. I'm on the phone with my mom. She's asking me how I can send her the $20. And because she's at Walgreens right now, and I'm literally 21 minutes from you. But at the same time, he said, I'm really close to you. We got to pull up, and I have to give you the money. So, and I, I like, through this whole process, I was like, I really just got scammed, man. I'm like, this sucks. And I was like, oh, okay, gotcha. Just message me when you're here, you know? So I go back inside, and I just chill. And then he replies, yeah, bro, she's tripping hard. You can't send it to me real fast so I can send this to her and she can leave me alone. I'm literally coming to you right now, bro. And I'm like, yeah, I can send it to you, but send me a pic of yourself to make sure it's really you. 
30 minutes go by 30 minutes go by and I decided to check on the message I did not see the scene notification or anything I click on the profile and it says user not found and at that point I'm like oh <laughs> I got scammed um, so then the next part I decided to do is go on my other account and I need to take screenshots of those so give me one second I'll be right with you so on this part um, I'm telling him hey dude like did you really have to scam me bro like I was just trying to help a friend out and this is like the way you're hustling and I mean I'm not made out of money bro like trust me I, I don't ha I barely even have any money in my account dude I'm just straight up telling you like, after that I was like broke and so I'm like dude I'm gonna file a police report bro and he's like he replies who the F is this and I'm like the guy you just scammed come on dude and he's like I don't know this profile bro bro but hold up my SHIT got hacked and then he said who the F is you and I said I'm like you said you're a Larry's friend and then he responded who the F is a Larry and I'm like that's you and I sent him all the screenshots from the from the account from my personal account and he's like, you even gave me your cash app. And I, and then he's like, you asking the wrong bro. Must have been one of my homeboys. They finesse like that. I work and I have a kid. I'm a grown man, bro. And I replied with his name. I'm like, uh, Elijah One Johnson. He's like, they have my cash app. That's what I'm saying. I have a new one, my baby mama. And then he, he told me my cash app. And here, listen, I don't believe in none of that. I know all of that is just fake. It's just fake, dude. There's no way this dude's saying, oh yeah, I don't know, my friends finesse like that. I I don't believe it. And then he's like, then he's like trying to feel bad for me. He's like, how much did they take, bro? Like my bad, for real, for real. And I'm like, 22 bucks. He's like, dude, I don't mess with that stuff. My parents are pastors. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what do your parents have to do with this? He's like, I don't do stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess it was a whole setup, you know, I guess it was a whole, oh, my bad. And then he decided to tell, he's like, I'm gonna have to change my cash app and my password for my Instagram account. And I was like, yeah, you should do that. And then he's like, but then he replied saying, dude, I think, um, well, he replied saying, but I'm gonna see if I can get you this $22, bro, what's your name? So I gave him my cash app. And I know he's not gonna give me my $22. I mean, he already had my cash app before, so it's not like, there's anything bad and then he just sent me 100 100 emoji and I was like I appreciate it you can get my money back and here's the next part so I was chilling in school today and you know I'm um, just I looked at my phone and I go inside a group chat uh, with my friends teammates in there and I look through the screenshots they they were like is this real Cause they got the exact same message from the exact same profile and I'm gonna send you the screenshots there too it's right here and the guy said what's up brother it's Olaria I'm on a roommate's phone because my broke here recently but text me when you can basically the exact same message he sent me yesterday and then he sent it to my other friend he sent it to two of my friends and he said hey man it's Olaria I'm on my roommate's phone because my broke here recently text me when you can and then he replied, what's up, bro? He's like, sup, dude, so I need you to do me a solid. He, and then he replied, what's up? And then he says, I have this $22 cash on me that I need to send my mother. And I need someone who can cash app it to me and send me your Eddie. I can bring it to you now. And then my friend said, bro, I'm at school. And then he replied, I can come there then if that's okay. And I never replied to him because I told him, like, dude, don't fall for that. It's a scam. I got scammed. Don't even talk to that person. And I confront him again. I'm like, hey, dude, uh, your account is still messaging people, like my friends. And I threw him again. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna actually like do something about it. And then he's like, wait, what happened? And I'm like, your account is still messaging people about needing money. And then he's like, what the F, bro? Let me see. I sent him the screenshots. And then I was like, those were the messages you were sending to my friends. He's like, WTF, bro? Why do they keep texting people that S-H-I-T, sugar, honey, iced tea? 
was like, yeah, I don't know, man. You have to change your password. He's like, bro, but it's like, why are you beefing people for the money like that? And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, no, I'm saying, like, why the fuck do my friends keep doing that? And I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. You know, I have to talk to them, try to get the money back. And that was the story of how I got scammed. Um, lesson learned. I was just trying to be a good friend, help out a homie. But at the same time, I'm really stupid for this. Um, I'm just, just a little warning. Don't, don't be sending money online to friends unless you know it's actually them. Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this little, um, well, I, dude, I, I know what they're called. They're called like story time. Yeah, it was a story time. So you guys did enjoy these. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys. Um, see you guys um Saturday. See ya.